Hi everybody, you are watching Vitrotals, my name is Alex and today I'm gonna show you how to create this letter G in Gravit Designer. So, um, for Adobe Illustrator users, I prepare this tutorial, but I'm gonna release it a bit later and now I highly encourage you to watch this tutorial because I'm gonna show you some advantages of Gravit Designer over the Adobe Illustrator. So let's get started. With a new document, Alt N or Option N on your Mac, I'm gonna size it with the block cover. Ctrl plus, Command plus to scale a bit and gonna start with the E that stands for ellipse. And I'm gonna grab Shift and Alt and create an ellipse that size it with 235 pixels. Great. Uh, now duplicate this ellipse and with this original file I'm gonna grab my subselect tool or click D and start with this red point that is for doing slicing in Gride and I'm gonna slice a pie with 135 angle as this angle you should set in the appearance panel. So, set an angle, now rotate this pi holding shift key on 135 degrees, negative 135 degrees, there is an angle. Now choose from the pi, set it from pi to the open path. Nice. Delete the fill and create a new border. Set the 45 pixels uh, for this border weight and navigate to the advanced options uh, here and for advanced options we need to set the endings to bot and then go to the position and allocate this uh, stroke to inside like so now let's apply to the stroke an angle gradient something that is available only for gravit as far as i know so, uh, create five nodes for our gradient. And this should be, this gonna be uh, folded, this unfolded, this unfolded, and these three are folded. So, let's start with the topmost uh, node. And I'm gonna apply for this node this hexadecimal value. C6, 2, 4, 8, 8. And click OK. Now go to this node. And for this node, I'm gonna apply 2C, 4, 8, A, 6. Click Enter and click OK. Now for this node, it's gonna be our parent node. I'm gonna apply 3E, 1C, 3, uh, three one. Uh, let's go to this node and for this node I'm gonna apply 4a 4a 0 f 4 4 and for the last node this is gonna be a bit higher I'm gonna apply uh, this color 9 9 2 5 8 D nice so guys, uh, this is a harsh transition, of course, uh, between these two colors, but uh, this is gonna be hidden by this uh, sticker paper. So let's create a sticker. Grab your subselect tool and slice a pie again. And for this time, we have a lot of options here, but I gonna simply grab it to zero. So I'm gonna create one half of the circle. But you can play with these values, both of them, and create more than half, less than half, it doesn't important. Now I'm gonna rotate it on negative 30 degrees and place it, uh, make sure that all of your snapping options are available and in this case it's gonna be a snap to shapes. So let's apply a gradient uh, for this uh, fill as well. And uh, this gradient should be with a direction from left 
bottom left to top right here and uh, last point should be far exceed our actual size like so so let's add one more two more dots and for this uh, first first dot for this first dot I'm gonna apply this hexadecimal volume seven one seven one seven one seven one seven one seven one nice let's go here for this second dot and with this dot I'm gonna apply nine one nine one nine one let's go here and here I'm gonna apply uh, four uh, three eight four we don't need four and for this last node I'm gonna apply four two four two four two four two four two four two very nice I'm gonna allocate this a bit because it's gonna be on the shade of pillar part of sticker now grab basic on tool or click B and start with this anchor point on the top left angle of our sticker then go to the bottom right of course and now hold alt or option on your mark and go mm, around the middle very nice and then release uh, alt key release left mouse button key it just navigate to the top node of our sticker and come close the path to create the part that peels so uh, delete the board of course and for the field we're gonna apply another gradient and and for this gradient I'm gonna create a simple left to right gradient with the three colors so I'm gonna grab one color in the middle first color should be 828282 and uh, then a second color should be b5 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 and then next uh, gonna be let's go here uh, next gonna be 808080 I just miss one zero I think uh, now select your sticker go here and let's change the direction like so I'm gonna apply it like so just it's pointing a bit to the top this is looking very nice then we put going to boost contrast but um, now I'm gonna grab a line or click L and drag uh, a line holding shift key to create a really straight line and uh, I'm gonna boost the weight and for this weight I'm gonna apply 45 uh, again 45 pixels it's the weight of this uh, letter C and we now gonna create a letter G so uh, first of all we need to arrange this path here we can uh, manually drag it or we can use a shortcut control shift down arrow and then we're gonna drag it to hide our this part I'm gonna scale a bit this part of my letter G I believe we can unsnap from the full pixel oh I'm unsnapped from the full pixel but I really don't understand why it don't snap to the shape it oh yes it's nice now let's apply a gradient and this is gonna be two color gradient so first value should be a6 1 f 7 6 uh, click enter and next value should be much darker and this value is 6a 1c 5d click ok nice but now I'm gonna improve a bit my letter C I'm gonna boost this dark color a bit on top like so fast of good but we gonna also improve a bit this um, corner and apply a 
a shadow for this part of our first uh, and apply a drop shadow and for the x value we should uh, create a negative 3 value for y1 and uh, we gonna increase the blur to around 7 and decrease the opacity to around 45 it looks very nice now let's boost the contrast a bit so go to the more adjust and uh, color adjust and for this uh, increase the contrast to around 8% and uh, I'm gonna increase a bit the brightness also to 7 pixels looks very well let's uh, go to the uh, last option here and our last option is uh, the sub select tool we should first of all move top left node to the bottom then select this part this uh, half of the circle and I'm gonna convert it to the path a graphic designer treats it as ellipse we need to convert it to the path and in order to do it use shortcut ctrl shift p or command shift p on your mark uh, very nice uh, not as it icon is also changed so uh, grab your sub select tool we need to find this path now all of our uh, nodes all of our anchor points are uh, selectable and i'm gonna increase a bit the size of this region and add some anchor points to add uh, anchor points we need to hover over the path with our sub select tool I'm gonna add uh, here and here and I'm gonna drag this anchor point right in the top corner of this part of our uh, sticker so with this uh, anchor point first of all we need to uh, select uh, this option joint straight uh, what it does it deletes all our bezier handles then we need to set a corner and I'm gonna set a corner to almost max. I think it's around 32 pixels here. And I'm gonna improve this uh, curvature by myself, dragging this node to the top left. Now we need uh, to make some uh, adjustments also to the, our path. So I'm gonna select my path. And first of all, I'm gonna add some nodes here and there then drag it here and cover also here uh, here i'm gonna probably uh, add a mirror point and then follow this basic handle and change it direction as well as i am gonna decrease this basic handle for some of the reason uh, gravity designer doesn't allow us to modify uh, one bezier handle and i think it should be uh, improved to my opinion it's a big big advantage uh, for a graphic designer to uh, take control of a single bezier handle and we have done with this letter g logo a big high five for all of this that reach that far if you enjoyed give a thumb up subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. I want to thank you for following to the end. Guys, don't forget to visit tutorials.net and join my uh, Facebook private tutorials group for aspiring graphic and web designers who want to learn graphic designer. And uh, here I'm gonna sh share some tips, tricks about graphic designer, how to work in graphic designer, how to use uh, this tool, some advanced topic because I'm now uh, fully engaged in graphic designer I almost uh, give up with Adobe Illustrator but uh, yes it's a job because Adobe Illustrator is still our uh, industry uh, standard and in my day-to-day um, -day job I use still use Adobe Illustrator it's very important to have for Gravit in APS support because lots of uh, micro stocks and lots of uh, files lots of assets that I use uh, they are available only uh, in uh, APS 
so um, I think uh, APS uh, would be available for us in the near future. Uh, in November, uh, they will uh, introduce a new version of Gradient Designer, Gradient Designer 3.3, and this version would support some animations. So the uh, prototyping will be available for Gradient. I think it's uh, push the Gradient to the very solid. Uh, graphic design, UI design, and web design software. So guys, thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel. See more great designer tutorials in the near future. Goodbye.